Digswell Village Fair has been running for nine years. It takes place on the Springbank holiday and it started to try to keep people safely off the roads during the heavy bank holiday traffic conditions. It always has the usual try your skill sideshows and some which are less usual like this model steam train, a reminder of the good old vanished days of steam which is powerful enough to pull wagon loads of visitors prepared to pay for the privilege. After seven years of effort by members of Wellin Rural Council, 1973 finally saw the proposed Digswell Playing Fields Pavilion taking shape. The playing field itself was enlarged to take a full-size soccer pitch. The pavilion was designed by a Digswell resident, Mr. Glanfield, and the overall scheme was drawn up by Mr. Philip Hawley, the clerk and surveyor to the RDC. The whole scheme cost about £26,000, contributed by the Hertfordshire County Council, Wellin RDC and the National Playing Fields Association. The pavilion has changing rooms and an additional small committee room for the use of the various sports clubs. On September the 9th, a large number of people joined Digswell Tennis Club at a ploughman's lunch to celebrate the official opening of the new facilities at Digswell. It was a fine day for picnicking, just the sort of day playing fields are made for. Digswell made it a family day out because the children were invited too. Among the visitors were some from champagne sur oise who were staying in the village and who attended with their hosts. Among the council members there was Mr. Frank Crop, who lives in Digswell, and the chairman of the tennis club, Mr. Harrison, dressed for the club afternoon, kept things going. One of the most welcome of the additional facilities is a second tennis court. When the time came for the official opening of the new pavilion, Mr. Harrison introduced County Councillor Charles Burgess, who made a short speech. It was all very informal and relaxed, a pleasant welcome for an amenity which is going to be of lasting value to the Digswell community. In 1994 saw a local Digswell event revived in aid of the Village Church Fund. A great day out, said the posters, and there were many attractions on Maybank Holiday Monday at the Digswell Village Fair. Marty Wilde opened the proceedings. Lovely day. Enjoy yourselves, enjoy the summer afternoon, and uh, spend a lot of money, and I declare, declare rather, this village fate open. Now we're going to hear... And stalls offered many games and activities to amuse the visitors. The train ride was popular. And so was the bouncy castle. Some games demanded a steady hand, and others a steady head. Friends were made on the roundabout and just in passing by. There were stick insects for the kids to handle, and they were passed around with care. But at least one grown-up wasn't so sure about the experience. There was a children's fancy dress competition and Marty Wilde presented the prizes and congratulated the youngsters. While circus acts and aerobic sports teams displayed their skills, the locals relaxed and listened to the Accent Jazz Band.
Many local charities were represented on the day, and the Digswell Village Church not only gained funds for its upkeep, but were able to pass on 10% of their income to other charities that they